Cheating in video games, the easy way to fame and fortune by Zoomer logic, or an easy way to make yourself a laughing stock on the internet for a day or two. Using aimbot during a live CSGO tournament to completing Super Mario 64 with a see-through blindfold. These are the dumbest streamers who are caught in 4K cheating, beginning with Elm Zero, who accidentally left his aimbot on whilst trying out for a professional esports team. What do you mean accidentally left his aimbot on when trying out for an esports team? If he's trying out for an esports team and he got there by cheating, that's no accident. And he understands that he has absolutely no shot in, at making it without that being on. Up until this point, Elm Zero had built up a respectable 3,000 Twitch followers for his impressive Apex Legends gameplay. 3,000 Twitch followers is respected? Oh, Sonny's reaching hard here, huh? However, while trialing for the pro team Zenith, judges noticed that his aim was almost too impressive. And while this first kill was arguably still possible without aimbot, his next kill was significantly more suspicious. Bruh, the guy's a prodigy, just, just leave a brother alone. Elm Zero shoots through the wall as if he already knew where the enemy was, before locking onto the player with near perfect accuracy. Elm Zero was instantly called out in a Twitter post reading, How are people streaming cheats in Scrims Lameo? Which received a response explaining that he was known for cheating on PUBG in the past. Okay, I don't understand this community outrage about cheating to be honest, and hear me out first, because you know, I'm not pro-cheater, I'm against cheating. But I don't understand this idea. Now, maybe I'm wrong, because I honestly don't play shooters uh, shooters enough to know these things, but aren't all the cheats, because all the cheats that I have seen that uh, that happen in COD or, or, or other places like that, usually the crosshair is exactly on one spot when it's shooting. You know, it never moves from that one spot. So... Why all this debate is someone cheating? Can't you literally just take the spot where he's shooting, put it in some kind of editing so or software, pull it up, you know, make it bigger, and then frame by frame check is the uh, is the crosshair exactly on the same place or on the guy that he's shooting? Because all of these cheats that I have seen, they don't randomize where they shoot. They're not, they're not shooting randomly in the head, they're not shooting randomly in the, in the arm or leg. It's always exactly dead in center, as much as I have seen. So, wouldn't all the cheaters just be exposable like that? You know, you just check frame by frame and it's exactly at the same, uh, same spot. And especially when someone just suddenly decides to swap direction, the fact that they instantaneously are capable of following that. Because no no person is honestly capable in real time following someone if they just randomly switch direction if they're shooting at them. So I don't understand this. I don't understand honestly that one at all. How is how is cheating still a debate when all the cheats seem so basic? Or am I wrong? Leave in the comments if I'm wrong if that doesn't actually work. But for me it seems like it should 100% be work and there should not be a debate does someone cheat. It should be an easy check. PUBG in the past. One of my accounts was banned from PUBG. I was banned by the PUBG Corp for, I mean, my ban message said hacking. Determined to expose Elm Zero for good, another clip was tweeted of him warming up for the match, in which his aim was once again robotically accurate, and with the evidence seeming conclusive, Zenith Esports would make a tweet explaining that Elm Zero was not contracted with us and has been removed from our trial process, which was I mean, do you honestly want to be a part of an esports team that gets 60 likes? <laughs> Probably not. Probably a scam, honest. Dude, chances are, by the way, yeah, that's most likely a Unless they are very well known, and I don't know of them. Uh, they're probably some kind of, you know, scam that takes you in pretty much almost as a slave or something not contracted with us and has been removed from our trial process, which was followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media before disappearing from the internet. Wow. Semper 0311 was even stupider, as after going live playing the game- 15 views, Jesus. Game Destiny 2. You know what, I cannot respect any one of these cheaters, not because they're cheating, but because they're, they, they don't go all the way in. 
Because there are people currently who have millions of subs on Twitch, on YouTube, and other platforms who started by cheating and just accumulated a large enough audience and then started doing something else and the audience just st uh, stuck with them. You know, uh, one of the most famous examples of this is, I think, everyone's favorite uh, boy to hate, a rice gum. You know, that piece of absolute gurbanzo. That guy, view bought it on Twitch. And it worked. He view bought it and, on Twitch and it worked. Honestly, if you're trying to make it on Twitch, if you're not flat out view botting or embedding yourself in 500 different Wikipedia pages every second, you're not doing a good enough job. You, you're you're actually you, you're not trying hard enough, in my opinion, because there's no way. If you're at the very bottom and if you have one viewer or zero viewers, you're not making it. You. If you're not using view bots or something so that you're not at the top of the category or at least near the top, at least visible, I don't think you're do trying hard enough. Where he'd forget to hide the aimbot program altogether. At the time, nice. he was streaming to a small audience of only 16 people. However, this was enough for one of his viewers to notice the fishy gameplay. Writing in the chat is that aimbot. On your screen, it has like red squares around them. <laughs> Semper was dumb enough to read the comments out loud. My screen has red squares around them. And after pretending to be confused for a couple of seconds, the stream ended abruptly and the footage was deleted. In the days that followed, Semper denied cheating and threatened to ban anyone bringing it up no it's not no it's not and i didn't dude if you want to get banned you can keep saying that you'd have to oh yeah that's that's the best way if someone accuses you of cheating you you either ignore it prove them wrong but you don't attack them attacking your accusers is the easiest way to one get people to hate you uh two it kind of just proves that you're guilty because innocent people care more about proving the fact that they're innocent and disproving their attackers. Guilty people can't do that, so they will attack uh, attack the people against them. And that's pretty much it. Now, admittedly, there are some exceptions to the rule, but when in cases like this, it's pretty much ironclad. If he doesn't disprove it, he's most likely actually cheating being pressured by the audience, Semper admitted to cheating in the weakest way possible. There was wall hacks on my computer yesterday on stream. Like, I'm not denying that. I just don't know how they got there. However, <laughs> at least Semper... Hey, that's not the first time I think we have heard that. Oh, well, hugs just magically appeared on my PC. I don't know how that happened. It was a ghost. Eventually admitted to some kind of wrongdoing as the next person blamed her cheating on a non-existent person. Wait, I actually know this woman. I have seen her. I don't know who she is, but she had a major con uh, controversy because she actually got big because of cheating. Person. The streamer in question went by the name of Miss Q Gemini, and just prior to being exposed, she'd state that people often called her a cheater simply because she was female. You know what's really sad? Bravo, the classic tactic. How many times have we seen this one work out? Uh, precisely zero. Usually it's exactly the opposite thing of what you should be doing. Ah, uh, yes. Blame everything on men. <laughs> that always goes well. Why do they do this? It's literally the worst defense. But sometimes, you know, because I'm female in Counter-Strike, people are like, you're cheating! However, the real reason behind why she was called a cheater revealed itself just minutes later as she'd begin her first CSGO game of the stream with wall hacks enabled. Ah, what? They're mid. Mid. To be. I'm going back to be. Amazing. After dying in- Yeah, I actually remembered this a little bit. I, I knew about this one. I didn't remember it's CS or anything, but yeah, she, she this this one's this one was pretty famous when it happened. In the game, she'd come to notice her colossal size mistake and attempted to play the whole thing off by stating that she had some weird glitch. Do you guys ever get that uh that weird glitch in CS:GO where it shows your rank, <laughs> that it, it shows everyone's rank? I played the other day with Rock and he got that, and now I have it. I don't, I don't know what's why. It's weird. Which was then followed by Miss Q Gemini, stating that someone named Clara had been playing on her computer earlier that day. <gasps> Wait, Clara, hold on. Clara, give me one second. Clara, let me... Yeah. 
<laughs> Man, how everything just changes when you figure out that, you know, someone else is at fault. Amazing. Let me just message this girl. Give me one second. Why is this on my computer right now? Where is this? How do I close this? I need to text my friend Clara right now. She was at my house earlier. The most obvious and stupid thing uh, about this situation is that she just magically figured it out. Oh, wait, I can blame it on someone else, a person that does not exist. It's a ghost. Which, by the way, for some reason is a very, uh, very popular thing that these cheaters said. Oh, a ghost installed wall hacks on my PC. I don't know how that happened. My grandpappy probably wanted to screw around with me or something. And, you know, but previously... It wasn't a problem. You know, she was just playing just fine. Oh, I'm just gonna ignore these things that I have never seen before in my life previously. Ah. Oh, it's, the, it's so stupid. Earlier today, I'm literally gonna kill her. She promised me she didn't use it on my PC. Clara, out of all people, this is what happens when you let people use your PC. Realizing that there was no getting out of this, Miss Q Gemini began to trade all of her items to a brand new account. Yet, unfortunately, this wouldn't stop a Twitch ban, which happened later that day. Do you actually get Twitch banned for cheating? That's insane. And while it's certainly shameless to blame a friend for the hacks on your computer, it's not nearly as shameless as aimbotting during a professional CSGO tournament, which is what would happen Hey, wouldn't be the first time in the case of Optic Forsaken. Forsaken had joined the Indian Optic group in May 2018, and in the five games played after joining, Forsaken had always placed either second or first. While many assumed Damn. that Forsaken was nothing more than a very talented player, it will be after flying to a $100,000 prized professional tournament in Shanghai, China, that Optic Forsaken was exposed brutally. The tournament began with Forsaken taking large breaks in the warm-up rounds, as if he was trying to set something up on his computer in the background, yet it would only only be after the main matches began that Forsaken's plays became incredibly suspicious. This first strange flick into the, the ground hell? was followed by countless examples of him locking perfectly onto the enemy. Oh my god, that's so obvious. Well, again, cheating most of the time is obvious. You know what's the crazy part? Sunny's never gonna mention it because this is not how Sunny does things, but. Competitive cheating in, uh, in, you know, shooter games is actually so rampant. A lot of competitive people are cheating because these are the bad cheats. In reality, uh, professional tournaments is, uh, sometimes do not allow you to use your own keyboards and mouses because you can inbuilt cheats into your mouses you can literally inbuild some kind of programs in your mouses that it recognizes you're playing like counter-strike for example and it automatically does some minor adjustments when something's happening it is insane uh there are literally clips of uh, you know people going to the stage and they're like oh you can't use your own stuff here in this tournament it's all al this allowed and then you have literally no that these those people just try to uh, try to sneakily sw uh, sw uh, switch out the mouses and keyboards they are using because cheats can literally be inbuilt into your your keyboards and mouses. It's absolutely insane. The people who just download something and run a program, they're doing it the wrong way because the good cheats are in the mouses inbuilt. That's pretty talented. And while there was a chance that some of these kills could still be made by a high level player, it will be with one final matchup that Forsaken's aimbot became obvious. After locking onto the enemy through a wall, event organizers called a timeout, and officials made their way over to Forsaken's computer to figure out if he was cheating. At first, Forsaken refused access to his computer, however, the officials would ignore this and look- Bruh, refused access, what do you mean? Anyway, during which Forsaken kept pushing them away from his computer, while he tried to delete the aimbot right in front of their faces. Despite having traveled all the way- Serious? Yeah, I mean- you're busted at that point, might as well try to do something because it's over for you. The worst part is, you know, imagine if he was a streamer like with the two, uh, 2k three, uh, viewers average. That happens, he gets kicked, he, he says he didn't do anything. He probably still retains his stream if people don't make too big of a fuss and he still has like 1k average viewers. 
Stuff like this happens a lot. This is why I'm saying, if you're not going full in on the cheating, you know, uh, botting yourself to the front page and stuff like that, man, you're just not trying hard enough. From India, Forsaken and the whole Optic team were instantly disqualified from the tournament, which became even worse when Forsaken issued a public statement explaining that neither his team, manager, or coach had even the faintest idea that he was hacking. The scandal eventually resulted in Optic India shutting down altogether, but Forsaken isn't the only person in this video to cheat in a professional tournament. Because during a professional Fortnite tournament with a $500,000 prize, the following scenario happened to a player by the name of Marky Locurus. <laughs> hey, is he invulnerable? Despite being down and finished countless times by his opponent, a glitch prevented Marky from being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about what had happened, which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky originally. After continuing to play normally, Marky was approached by event organizers who asked him to leave the match, yet he'd refused, stating that what had happened was a glitch and was part of the game. While he w Well, he's technically not wrong there. <laughs> a glitch is a part of the game. ...would eventually give up and leave. This prompted discussion online about whether Marky had cheated or not. I don't think he is cheating. I think he just went with it. All these kids saying he wasn't cheating. He knew he wasn't taking damage and got revived and continued the game even though he should have died. That's considered an exploit and is cheating. Fun fact. Exploits are not cheating because I think cheating... What, the, what's the definition of cheating? Isn't cheating ex... Well... Isn't cheating explicitly in gaming when you use things outside of the game to help you get an unfair advantage? Isn't that the definition of cheating? Like, you know, he definitely did something scummy and, you know, should be reprimanded and whatnot. But is that actually legitimately considerable cheating? The first clip was actually a glitch, but he decided to abuse it. There was certainly an argument for whether or not Marky's behavior constituted cheating. However, the same couldn't be said for Captain Baldy, who accidentally showed his aimbot whilst trying to prove that he wasn't cheating. Up until this point, Jesus. Captain Baldy had built up a Warzone kill death ratio of over two, yet similar to the Apex Legends. Wait, is a Warzone kill ratio above two actually good? That seems a little bit low. When we were kids and playing Counter-Strike 1-6, I considered anything below a 5-1 K uh, KD bad. Because we didn't have assists back then, Jesus. Wow. Wow. So you're telling me you need to be as bad as two kills per death? And then you're considered good at Warzone? That's insane. Legends play in the beginning, Captain Baldy will be called out on Twitter after locking onto an enemy who was running behind a wall. Oh, I see even saw that. Another oh, he did it two times! First on this wall and then there. He insane in the membrane. ...in surface where Captain Baldy displayed suspiciously accurate shooting. And as a result, his chat began to fill with people calling him a cheater. Determined to prove his innocence, Captain Baldy agreed to show his task manager, yet hilariously seemed to instead tap the key which brought up his cheat menu. Task manager? <laughs> Yo, they want my task manager? Hold up. Control, delete. Yeah, control, delete, task manager. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's definitely cheats because it's Chinese or Japanese. China, China and Japan, no, I think it's more, well, Japan also has one, but China has actually a function and economy built around selling cheat engines. That's insane. Oh my god. The chat then mocked Captain Baldy relentlessly, which was followed by a live Warzone ban later in the stream. Disconnected from COD. No way. Damn no way. <laughs> With the Captain Baldy saga ending with the deletion of his entire Twitch channel. Getting caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call of Duty streamer Young, although he didn't take his expose as humbly as Captain Baldy did. Young's viewers noticed that he always seemed to know where the enemy was coming from, so just like our last... Uh, I don't play COD, I have never played COD because, you know, it's a Zoomer game and, you know, you can go to hell. But, 
In CS, you can actually tell from which direction people are coming off based on the sound that their foot, uh, footsteps give away. Can't you do the same in COD? Just a general question, by the way, because I don't know. The audience requested that he show his task manager. Now, Young wasn't dumb enough to bring up the entire cheat menu. However, after accessing the task manager, his stream display bugged out and showed a second window where his hacks could be seen clearly. After being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take to his Twitter on which he'd make an idiotically arrogant tweet reading, got mad free press tonight, over 2k views overall. Some people even posted my gameplay online. Thanks for the shout outs, people. Really appreciate the help. Although these 2,000 views worth of free press didn't contribute tribute to the long-term growth of his career, as Young hasn't gone live on Twitch ever since. 1.8k followers, like, come on. Well, at least they're trying to a certain degree, I guess. However, Young still looks like a genius in comparison to Twisted Bear, whose Twitch description boldly claimed that he was the top Modern Warfare player. The reason for this claim would become apparent in July of 2020, when he'd go live displaying his skills, only he completely forgot that he had his wall hacks on. The end to Twisted Bear's career was then unbelievably quick. He was banned from Call of Duty, then Twitch, and was never <laughs> heard from ever again. But this is- Bro, Sonny, you're literally just putting random fucking people. Come on, like- Give give us some of famous. What separates Twisted Bear from the next cheater, Mr. Golds, who made a much larger spectacle over his cheating ban. Mr. Golds was a much more significant oh. figure in the Call of Duty community, sporting a Twitch follow account of over fifty thousand during a live stream. Is that a lot now? Because you know, fifty thousand actually does seem like a decent amount on Twitch. Oh, almost two K viewers. Good, finally. Hope we get more big ones. Th those are the fun ones. To an audience of approximately 1,700 people, Mr. Golds brought up his task manager before beginning to brag about how he was so good at Call of Duty that he didn't need to cheat. Is it the first time you see someone good at the game? Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like, seriously. Although he didn't seem to notice that he'd also accidentally brought up his cheat menu on which he had aim at enemies turned on. Despite having 1,800 viewers <laughs> at the time, almost nobody was talking in the chat or calling him out for it. Oh look, this guy actually view bought it. Someone is actually trying. Finally. That he was probably also view botting. However, while the chat remained pretty quiet, the incident was shared to Twitter where it received over 2,000 likes and 700 retweets. After being temporarily banned from Call of Duty and Twitch, Mr. Golds would upload an apology video in which he'd state that he didn't mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry about it. I didn't mean to. I like the fact that they buy the gamer chair and all this expensive bullshit without, you know, any form of knowing that it's gonna be successful. If you s saw my setup now, you probably would think I'm homeless, but somehow I'm in four, four walls. No, seriously, I got a Razer mat here, which my microphone is on, which is, you know, so you, you if, I, if I hit my table, you actually don't hear any sound because it removes the vibration, because it's pretty good for that, you know? That mat is roughly, I don't know, eight years old the sides of it have literally melted off you know the, the silicone part the silicone base has literally melted off from sides of it there is no way to clean it there's no way to use it i have currently folded it on four parts and i'm using it as a microphone stand because i don't have this professional shit right here you know the studio mics even though i could afford it but this setup is working good enough for me my Pop filter is clamped to my desk and everyone, everyone seeing if you saw it would know that it's wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, but these people, oh jeez, why? What does he mean, I didn't mean to? You don't download and use cheats without no. meaning to. I mean, come on, buddy. Before going on to try and convince his audience that this wasn't who he was. This is not who I am. This is really not who I am. Despite having sad. cheated for months in the lead up to his expose. Not sad in that way. Sad that he can't even man it up. These days, Mr. Gold's Twitch channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaways from Tesla, which sounds like an even bigger scam than his wall hacks. However, a more- Sunny doesn't even know about this? Oh my god. Again, Sunny makes sometimes interesting videos, and recently he has sh uh, shine away from the smart stuff, so, you know, his videos are kind of decent. But Sunny's kind of a fucking idiot. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not gonna lie, he's actually kind of an idiot. This is a common thing. These channels get hacked. And they ch uh, there are, you know, ch channels on YouTube with a million subs who get hacked and turned into these te uh, Tesla bit, uh, bit cryptocurrency things. Yeah, uh, this, this, maybe he sold it. He, I, I doubt it technically. Most likely just got hacked. Th this is normal. This is kind of normal. More interesting question to ponder is what happens when a game developer gets caught cheating on his own game. Nothing. This is what happened to Ortonil, the H1Z1 technical director, who was caught using invisibility whilst live on stream. What's happening? Why are you cheating? Really, dude? You're cheating. A dev cheating. Oh, look at his face. Wait, wait, you can not, you not see, see him? him? You can't yeah, see me? Yeah. Oh, he is. Oh, my God. Are am I hidden? Ha, ha, ha. Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been left on accidentally. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Poor guy, lol. However, there was absolutely- I mean, I don't know if that's ironic. It's a Reddit comment. I'm, I'm not sure if that's- I'm not sure if that's not 100% serious. No accidents coming from FaZe Jarvis, who was given a lifetime ban on Fortnite after cheating publicly. On the 4th of November 2019, FaZe... I mean, do you expect anything more from FaZe Clan? At this point, it's a miracle they haven't been busted for selling drugs or something. Jarvis would upload a video titled Fortnite Gave Me Aimbot, in which he'd explain that he was given hacks by an unknown person in random duos. Something crazy actually happened. I got in a random duos game, and he was telling me, like, he can get aimbot and everything. And that he was going to test the hack. Do I remember this one, or do I not remember this one? I remember something big about someone like that, but I don't remember if that's him. Hacks for his video. This is what happens. Look. Aimbot FOV, aimbot. I don't know what half this stuff means, but it's it's actually about to be lit. We're about to pop off. Over the following seven minutes, Jarvis lit up every single person in the lobby with his insane aimbot accuracy. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Whilst explaining that he was using a new account and a new computer so he wouldn't get banned. Obviously, I don't want to have aimbot on my main account. I had to go on a new PC. Like, I don't want to get my main PC. His Twitch channel got banned, if I remember correctly. Because, you know, we already kind of know the cheating in the game gets your Twitch account banned. Band. Jarvis finished the video by once again reiterating that you shouldn't hack and that his dummy account was most certainly going to get banned. Never use aimbot, okay? Never do it. You're gonna get banned. I'm 100% gonna get banned on this account. Yet he probably didn't expect that Fortnite would watch his video and ban every single one of his accounts permanently. In the days that <laughs> followed, Jarvis would upload a new video titled I've been banned from Fortnite. Oh, I remember this crying face. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Fortnite, I'm sorry. In which he'd explained that he could no longer play the game. I've actually been permanently banned on Fortnite for life. Recently, I posted some videos of me using aimbot. It didn't even cross my mind to think that I could be banned for life on Fortnite. You're in FaZe Clan. A lot of things don't cross your mind because that's just not how life is supposed to be for you. And that's completely fine. Before stating that he was extremely sorry for his actions. You know, it's, it's obvious that I made a massive mistake. And of course, I would never think about doing anything like this again. I know now how big of a mistake this was. If I remember correctly, because now a little bit is dawning back, didn't he just get famous when this happened? Wasn't he about to blow up? Wasn't he uh, getting really, really uh, viral? And then this happened, and it was pretty much GG for him. I'm like, I, it's just, there's, there's nothing I can... This is, by the way, real, if anyone's wondering. I, imagine this. You're stupid enough to think that that's not... Obviously, you don't expect. You, you just got into the clan that you think is probably the best thing in the world. Your life's gonna be big. You absolutely made it. And you're probably... He's probably not even 18 yet, is he? He probably isn't even 18. And suddenly, all of that just gets taken away from you. And you didn't even mean it. You didn't even contemplate that that's gonna be an option. Anyone who doesn't think this is a real breakdown is absolutely out of their mind. 
The video accompanied a tweet by Jarvis reading, I'm going to take accountability for my actions and I understand completely why this has happened. I just wish I had known how severe the consequences were at the time and I would have never thought about doing it. I love all of you who still support me, this is not the end. And while Jarvis did seem quite apologetic for his actions, Fortnite would make an example out of Jarvis by banning any new accounts that he tried to create. The interesting thing- Yeah, it seems like he's, at like he's still doing stuff at least. Thing is, Jarvis's punishment was still less severe than super fast jellyfish, who might have the- I love this sunny thing because this is the new thing he does with the videos, like, all of this, all of the cool, interesting, actual subjects have kind of run out. Because I also talked about it that this is the problem with channels like Sunny. Because you run out of the go uh, good stuff. Now he's just making uh, videos about pretty much random cheaters. Like, don't get me wrong, they're still kind of entertaining. But, you know, if you think about it, he just made a video about, I don't know, five people who don't even have a follow. And, and that face guy was probably the biggest one in this video. Because I haven't even seen this face. So the chances that he's even remotely comparable to FaZe uh, Jarvis, not even, not, not happening. The craziest cheating story in this whole video. Superfast Jellyfish was a Super Mario 64 speedrunner who wanted to join the exclusive nine person list of Super Mario players who had completed the game whilst blindfolded. In the lead up to his blindfolded attempts, Superfast Jellyfish had been playing Super Mario 64. I actually have seen uh, blindfolded Mario runs for for three and a half years, leading him to believe that he had enough experience to beat the game without eyesight, and apparently he was correct, as he'd successfully complete the blindfolded challenge after only three tries. However, his ability- That's so bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be so obvious that you can see through a blindfold in, in, in a situation like this, because there, there's just gonna be situations where there's no way that you dodge something, because he most likely 100% dodged something or miraculously went in the right direction where there was no reason to even change direction. The to complete the challenge with such ease prompted a user by the name of Charlie Brown 64 to upload a video titled Obvious Cheater Fakes Blindfolded Super Mario 64 Speedrun in which he tears super fast jellyfish's run to absolute shreds. Only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this Goomba, quickly make his way up the- Yeah, see? It's- it's ridiculously easy to tell. Like a blindfold run, any- any time you- so- any time in a blindfolded run, you are making a move to the, uh, you are making a move that's different from a straight line, and you magically dodge an opponent. That's not happening. And if you're not me, like, there's there's this movement, right? That we'll call it straight. If you're if you you're supposed to go straight, and suddenly you decide to, to dodge in that direction. Well, maybe that's the start of the level and you know that you need to go like this and that, and that's legit. But if there's like an enemy right here, and you're going like this, and then you dodge like that, and then you resume going straight, that is such a dead giveaway. Faking blindfolded runs is probably one of the hardest things that you can do. Path, and then do this long jump to the next red, all completely blindfolded and with absolutely no setup necessary. Not only does he somehow know exactly where the one up box is, but he also knows exactly what direction the one up will go in once it spawns, something completely determined by RNG. Then, after chasing it on a moving platform for a completely arbitrary amount of time, he somehow knows exactly when and where to jump to the left. Watch now as he somehow knows exactly where he is on the spinning platform and knows exactly where the first pole is. Again, anyone who was actually blindfolded here would have probably just kept holding left and run off. However, this guy is able to make a completely random amount of adjustments to make it onto the pole. 19 days after Charlie Brown would upload his expose, Superfast Jellyfish uploaded a bizarre apology video in which he tried to claim that the run had been fake deliberately. That speed run was purposely fake. It was purposely fake. Ah, the good old classic. I did this as a... This is pretty much the equivalent. Oh, I did this as a social experiment. You know the good old times when someone did something stupid and they just call it a social experiment? <laughs> ah, the good old days. Yet nobody seemed to buy any of his lies, as no Superfast shit. Jellyfish's time in the spotlight ended with a dislike ratio of over 95. Oh god, Sunny actually did some math here? Wait, is that 95%? Oh. Uh...
that's below 95 percent i can do this in my head this uh this is below 90 wait how did he say this like ratio of over 95 percent light ended with a dislike ratio of over 95 percent ah shit he's right this is over 95 percent this is uh how much is it uh 95. Point... I don't even know two. No, nine 95.05 maybe? No idea. Anyway. No, well, that's pretty much it. Kinda of funny. Admittedly, I don't know, these silly videos are getting kinda of really bad. Like he, he it's it's funny, but there's not really anything too much here. Like he's he's selling these Oh, Sniper Wolf video, I guess which is gonna be the thumbnail bait for this. Probably Sniper Wolf. Surprised if she, if, that she has never cheated. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Uh,